We are going to create a sales prediction model using multiple linear regression in Python and visualizing that into an interactive dashboard using Power BI. So let's get started. Uh, we have a data set here of three different marketing channels with different investments in each channel, TV, podcast, and YouTube. And then we have a sales channel also. We are going to use regression to, to do our predictions. And in order to do that, we have to have the assumption that there is a linear relationship between the X variables, which in this case will be our channels, and the sales. So I've loaded this data into Power BI, and I just quickly created a collection of scatter plots, and we can see that there is a somewhat linear relationship between all three of those channels. Ultimately, we wanna be able to use an equation. We wanna use our X variables here, which is X, which would be each one of those channels, plus the coefficient to predict the sales. So let's create our model, linear regression model in Python and isolate those coefficients so we can complete this formula. So we're going to be using a IDE, which in my case, I'm gonna be using Spider. You might wanna use Jupyter Notebooks. So let me open that up and let me walk you through the code. The first thing we're gonna be doing is loading in our essential packages. We're gonna import pandas and save it under the variable PD. We're gonna import our linear regression model from Psychic Learn, and we're also going to bring in train test split, which allows us to split our data set into training and test sets. We're going to load in our data using the read CSV function from pandas. So let's just highlight those cells and run them. And if you look at our variable explorer, we can see that our data set has been loaded and we've saved that data under the name data set. So we have a data frame with 364 rows and five columns. If I click that, you can easily see our data set there. Now, because we wanna isolate our X and Y variables to be able to create that final formula, we have X, which I'm going to isolate by using the column index, using the iLock function. So I'm gonna take all the rows and the column index one through four, which encapsulates all our channels. And then I'm going to use bracket notation on that data set variable to just bring out the sales. So let's run those two. Those new variables have been created in our variable explorer. Now that we have our X and Y variable, we want to be able to train our model on a training set of those variables and test it on a testing set of that variable. So I'm just going to use train test split and it's going to give me our training and test X and Y variables. And you can see those listed here. Now that we have our primary components, we are going to load in our linear regression model and save it under LIN. Then we're going to fit the data, our training data, to our model so it can learn. And then we're going to test the model with our test set of X variables. So let's run that block of code we have our prediction here and if I double click that there's the predicted values however in order to complete our equation we need to get the coefficients now that we have our X and Y's and to do that now that we've trained and tested our model we can get the coefficients by using the coef function on our linear regression variable. So I'm gonna quickly run that and just show you what is returned. So you can see 
we get all the coefficients, but let's make that more readable by pulling in a data frame and column names and headers, which is the next column. We have saved our data frame and zipped using the zip functions. We added the column names to the coefficients. And you, if I click that variable, we can see that now we are starting to build our formula that we can use in Power BI. We can see for, for every unit of TV investment, we are expected to get $7.37 return. If we go down to YouTube, we can see that is our lowest return. So for every unit or dollar spent, we will get eight cents associated increase with that. And the one thing we're missing here is our intercept. So I want to append the intercept, which I can do with an append function. And I can get the intercept from the code in our linear regression function. So I'm going to run that final part. And now we have all the components. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using these coefficients to build an interactive prediction dashboard in Power BI. So let's go over to Power BI. So now that we have Power BI open, I've loaded two instances of my data because one section I'm going to use to visualize, the other section I'm going to use to run my Python code. So we can just simply copy and paste our code. We're going to have to make one change. So I'm going to highlight and copy that. Go back over to Power BI go to transform, go to run Python script. And that first line tells us that our data set is already loaded. So once we add our code to that, we know the data set line that we use to load in the data set is unnecessary. So we just highlight that and delete it. Then we can run this code and get every component of our prediction model. There's our components table. So we're just going to open that up and we can see that our components are loaded there. Now we want to be able to create a dashboard that's interactive that allows a user to input their individual investments and get a return prediction. So I've created that dashboard, this input using a what if parameter that you can find in the modeling tab. And if you create a new parameter and what if, it creates a table that allows you to have a dynamic selection in the increments of your desire. And we can link these to our equation, which I will show you in a second. So I've created three what if par parameters here for each one of our channels. And in this section, this is our formula that we've seen previously. And I'll show you that in the formula bar. This looks more complicated than it is. What I've done is just created a variable for each one of our coefficients and the intercept. And then I've rewritten that formula in the last variable where you see formula. This is the intercept plus the plus the parameter, which will change and allow us to have this dynamic value in each one of these sections. And then the last part, it just returns the value if something is loaded or it isn't. If we look at our dashboard, we can see that for, and this is the numbers are slightly different because we run, we've run we run it on the total data set as opposed to the training and uh, test data set. So we can see for each dollar that we add, we get a $5 expected associated increase. So if I increase that, we can see that investment increase and we can also see our increase there. If I, Go over to YouTube, which has a negative coefficient, and I increase that. We can see that number go down slightly because we are expected to lose 17 cents. 